this is the typical breakout trade. You are thinking of buying here to think that potentially price might get um, higher. But what happened was that your trade was soon, you know, stop out. Hi, it's Bini here. This tutorial, I only want to do one thing, which is to show you how you can reduce fake breakout 80% of the time. Or rather, how you can use the wash and rinse method and by drawing only one wash line, how you can have 80% of the time to buy at the low or sell at the high. The first reason of not going long pound cat at this place is because that the price is near to a year high. To know that it is near to a year high, I've turned on this multi-time indicator in trading view and this is the year high and then this place here is the year low. Now imagine that if you want to buy and you you know you want to know that there's space for your purchase, right? If you buy somewhere around here as a reference to the year high and the year low, then it has the potential to move to the year high because then that's your space. But if you buy somewhere around here, right, and then you know that year high is very near, then your space or your potential space is very little because the year high, year low can be easily used as a form of support resistance. By buying here, you are actually buying very near to a resistance. The second reason why we are not buying here is because if you draw in a trend line, you know that price is near to the high of the trend line. Now, the problem is that you not you might not be able to draw in this trend line here. That is the most difficult part because when you are trading you might only focus on that very bullish behavior which is this long bar here and you might not have seen this particular trend line so this is also something that you might not realize next question that you have would be then how do i avoid you know getting into a fake breakout how do i avoid you know buying at a high Okay, I have this solution here, which I've designed because, you know, in my early days of trading, I encountered a lot of fake breaks, a lot of failure trades, and I asked myself, how can I solve it? Now, my solution is to create wash and rinse, which is the method that I'm using. And wash and rinse is it's able to help you manage about 80%, 70 to 80% of fake breakout, right? It won't help you all, but at least, you know, for 70 to 80% of your trade, you are going to find that you are likely to buy at the low or sell at the high. So let's get started with the buy setup of the wash and means. First, to do the buy, we have to draw in the wash line and the wash line can only be drawn when price gets lower. Okay, now if you guys see this part of the price here, Right. The buy wash line can only be drawn if, for example, that uh, price had a close below the previous low. So for example, if this bar here had a close below the previous low, I'll be able to draw in the wash line at the low of the previous bar. Okay, So I have this as the second bar and then this is the first bar. Since two closed below one, I'll be able to draw in a wash line below one. Okay, We have to draw the wash line when at the low of one. Now we will keep on drawing the wash line as long as a new bar will close below the previous bar. So for example, three will close below low of two, we are able to draw in the wash line. Now four will close below three, all right, so we will draw in the wash line here. And somewhere around here, which is five, okay, even though it is not a red color candle, it's not a bearish candle, but the fact is that five, it closed below the lower four, we are also able to draw in the wash line. So of course for six, because it doesn't close below the previous low, we can't draw in the wash line, but seven, we'll be able to draw in a wash line. You realize that because price keeps going lower and lower, the wash line that we've drawn in gets lower and lower. So this means that if price continue to correct, you'll be able to see that the wash line gets lower and lower. If the wash line is an indicator for buy, then your buy price would be lower as well. Okay. Then in what situation will there be a wash and means and in what situation will I be buying is when price had a close above the wash line. So at bar number eight, there was a close above the wash line and I will initiate the buy here. Now, even though you see that, okay, it's a long bar, but this is just one of the case. But after the wash and means happened, price actually exploded upwards. So this is the key thing. When you want to buy, you keep drawing the wash line. And when your wash line gets lower, it means that it will prevent you from buying at a high price. Now, let's take a look at the sell side. Say, for example, price had been actually going up, right? And then how, what kind of wash line 
line can I draw? All right, I will draw when price is going higher. Let's say for example, this one, two and one. If two close higher than the higher one, then I'll be drawing in a wash line at the higher one. All right, and then let's say three, it closed above the higher of two, I'll be drawing in at the wash line at the higher of two. Now four closed higher than three, I'll be drawing in the wash line here. Five closed higher than four, I'll be drawing the wash line. Now when do I stop drawing the wash line? Well, you stop drawing the wash line when you don't see any higher close than the previous bar. Now in this case here, let's ask ourselves one question. Has six closed above the higher five? The answer is no, because we always, always compare the current bar to the previous bar. So therefore, we can't draw any wash line. But in this case here, somewhere around bar number seven, price actually had a close below the wash line drawn and hence this would be a place for us to consider a sell now in this case if you if you realize that the wash line that you draw in an upward movement keeps going higher then you will get the the trade right where your sell will be at a high price instead of a low price then where is the wash and rinse now in this case here uh, five would be the wash bar because price had been the bar that's artificially pushed up and then bar number seven would be the rinse bar here so the rinse bar will happen if it closed below the wash line so in the buy scenario then where is the wash and rinse now this bar here because this two and one for example i'll be able to draw in the wash line so this has been artificially pushed down all right so that's the wash and this bar here which is bar number three will be the rinse bar because it closed above the wash line so in fact every rinse bar would be the bar for us to trade okay if in the buy setup the rinse bar would be for us to buy in a sell setup the rinse bar would be for us to sell have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like then let's take a look at a case study of wash and rinse into pound cat right, what can you do with pound cat or what are you doing with pound cat then so let's randomly choose a place to draw in your wash line but before that i want you to observe that there are certain price movement for example price will always go in this impulse up and then it will retrace it will go up it will come down go up come down and go up now this is a behavior which you have to form visually with your eyes that means that you can put in some indicators like the zigzag indicator to look at all these turning points but your eyes should adjust to seeing all this up down zigzag price movement so let's randomly choose in a place to draw in the wash line so let's ask ourselves right for example two and one has two close above the higher one or two close below the lower one so it's very clear it's a green bar to close above the high of one, you are able to draw a wash line at the high of one. Okay, now let's ask ourselves next question. Three, three versus two. Is three higher than the high of two? The answer is yes, we will draw in the wash line here. Now remember, the new wash line will always take precedent over the previous wash line. This means that when you have a new recent wash line, the old wash line will be abandoned, right? Four, that's the new bar here, four close above the high of three. Then you realize that you can draw in the wash line and it's very clear at this bar is your rinse bar because price had a close below the wash line. So this is your wash bar, this is your rinse bar. And if you take a look at the previous high here, for example, this is a very obvious resistance. All right, that's where wash and rinse will usually happen usually happens near to key support and resistance level now in this tutorial here that i did previously on wash and rinse you can have a look right a view on the previous video on 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 me explaining in the use of wash and rinse into uh key price levels okay it's a very good tutorial for you to watch and revise into wash and rinse right so let's continue on i'm just going to erase this and continue so since we had a sell signal for example then we ask ourselves right two and one has two close below the lower one the answer is yes but if you ask okay how come this time around i'm asking two closes below one so that's because on inspection is very clear two didn't close above the high of one right two never close above the high of one but two close below the low of one so i'll be able to draw in a magenta wash line so what i like to do is i like to color my wash line if it's a buy wash line i'm drawing in with a magenta color so here we go so this is a magenta wash line here now the next candle three 
is three below the low of two, the answer is no. We can't draw any wash line, right? How about four? Um, from inspection, I think that four is not uh, below the low of three, so we can't draw in the wash line, which means that this is the only wash line, and therefore this bar here would be the rinse bar, and this number two here would be the wash bar. See the effect of wash and rinse when price moves up? It just exploded upwards. So let's continue on and do a bit of a skip. So since price had been coming down here, I think that I'll be able to draw in a magenta wash line. So let's continue to draw. For example, two versus one, I'll be able to draw in this wash line, three and two, another one more wash line. And then I skip this four because I know that there's a dodgy that's no closed. And then five, probably it's difficult to judge, but five uh, never closed below the lower four. And in this case here these would be the most recent wash line and see that price actually closed above it so that's my rinse bar and then this one here would be my wash bar now in this case by drawing in the wash line it allows us to trade near to the low so let's continue to draw in some more wash line and then let's clear this one here and i'll be drawing in another one more wash line since two and one two closed above the higher one i'll be drawing in this wash line here now you realize that because two it closed above the higher one this means that i'm actually looking at a high price to sell because in order to draw in a lower wash line, price must close lower than the previous low. Then I can draw in a lower wash line. This will allow me to buy at the low. But the fact is that two closes above the high of one. There is no way that this means that it is a buy at a low. Okay, so that's a very important change of mentality. Now with this change of mentality, it can safeguard you about 70 to 80 percent of the time that you are not buying at a high price or you are not shorting at the low price because you simply can't join any wash lines so let's continue three three versus two ask yourself one question is three higher than the high of two or is three lower than the low of two of course three is higher than the high of two you are able to join this wash line here so the wash line keeps going higher if you are buying then you're not buying at a low because the wash line keeps going higher how can you be buying at a low when the wash line kept going higher okay so this is one very important question for you to consider in your own trading but wash and read solve that in 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 this case here we saw that this would be the wash bar because price had closed and pushed up in the impulse uh, movement and then it rinsed back down. So we had actually a wash and rinse. Now, perhaps you asked me, right, that, hey, Bini, this is a weekly chart. You are not showing me on the daily time frame because on a daily time frame will be a place for me to enter the trade. Then same thing. I'm at the daily time frame here and let's try to draw in some wash lines. Okay. Now, basically, my question is that well, should you? should you be buying at this high price here all right so if we draw in the wash line we'll be able to find out okay so same thing let's continue two and one i'll be drawing in a wash line and here let's say i skip some bars right three and the previous um let's say two prime okay so i'll be drawing another wash line four and three it goes higher so that's another one more wash line five yes higher six yes higher seven yes higher you realize you can't be buying because your wash line gets higher and higher Right. You can't be buying because your wash line doesn't get lower. Okay? So I skip some bars here. 8 and 7, I can't draw. 9 and 8 years, I can draw. 10 and 9 years, I can draw. And what happened? See that? This is your wash bar and this one here is your rinse bar. We had a sell at the high instead. Okay, and this works very well. But let's talk about our first objective. We don't have a buy. So there is no way that you are going to enter on the buy if you use the concept of wash and rinse. So these would answer how you can use the wash and rinse to stop yourself from buying at the high price about, I would say, 80% of the time. All right, let's just give a summary to what I've discussed just now. 
If you are looking for a buy, you want to buy low. Imagine that this place is a low price and you know that if you can buy somewhere at the bottom here, you'll be making money. And this place here is a high price. If you can sell somewhere around here, you will be making money. All right, so let me just demonstrate how you can use wash and rinse to simple wash lines. Okay, wash and rinse to help you to ensure that 80% of the time you are buying near to the low price or selling near to the high price. Imagine that you have this place here, which is two and one. Two is lower than one, you'll be drawing in the wash line. And you can't draw a wash line based on three and two because that there's no close below the low of two. And let me just jump a little bit here and I have about uh, five and four. Right, five is lower than four. I'll be able to draw in this wash line here and I realize that this will be the wash bar and then this one will be the rinse bar. So your buy will be somewhere around here and that's your profit. Now the other way to look at it is that if price continue to go higher, then what should you do? Because you want to sell when it's at the high. So when price keeps going higher, that's the place for you to what? To sell. Yes, we can't be buying when it's near the high, isn't it? So therefore we'll be able to draw in the wash line. So let's start two and one. We have a wash line here that's drawn on top. Now we can't draw anything on 3 versus 2, we can't draw anything on 4 versus 3. The only thing that I can see is to draw a buy wash line here. Okay, so that's the buy wash line here, which you have another one more entry. Now let's talk about 6 and 5. 6 is higher than 5, I'll be able to draw in another wash line, 7 and 6 and 8 and 7. Here we go, so that's your rinse bar. By drawing this wash line, it ensure that at least at the point that you're going to sell, it's near the high and at the point that you're going to buy, it's near the low. I hope that this tutorial is beneficial to you. At least, you know, 80% of the time, you'll be able to avoid fake moves or 80% of the time when you sell, you can sell at the high or buy at the low. If you like this tutorial, remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button and I'll see you in my next tutorial.